Hey, this is Ryan Hayden from Row and Table. Um, you can find us over at rowandtable.com. We're a web design and development firm that specializes in Airtable. And so we're going to be doing lots of blog posts and lots of video tutorials about Airtable. And today I want to cover the very basics. I mean, what it is, how you get an account. Okay. So Airtable is an online web app that has an app for uh, Mac, has an app for Windows. You've got an app for, you know, your typical smartphone, iOS, Android. Um, it's, a, it's a web app, but it is a database app, okay? So I don't know if you've ever used Microsoft Access. One of my first jobs was I worked for a political campaign in high school and ran a huge Microsoft Access database. Um, maybe you've used FileMaker. Um, I've done a lot with that too. Or maybe some other uh, corporate database tool. They're not friendly. They're kind of hard to get your head around, uh, very hard to set up. And what most people end up doing is they usually just keep their data in a spreadsheet and just forego the database altogether. Well, Airtable tries to fix that. The way I describe Airtable is if FileMaker and Google Sheets had a baby, it would be Airtable. It's a database and it has all the power that comes with the database, the power that you give up by uh, going with something like Excel for your data instead of a database, but it's just as friendly. And in fact, I think more friendly than using a spreadsheet. And so to get it, you go over to Airtable.com, Airtable.com, and this is what the screen looks like. It says the all-in-one collaboration platform. You can see here, uh, it's got uh, these great views. So you've got the grid view, which is sort of default, and then uh, a calendar, and then there's something called a Kanban, which is similar to Trello, and a gallery view on, the, on their web app. Um, they've got all kinds of awesome uh, templates that you can start with, just all kinds of stuff. And all you have to do to get an account, it's absolutely free, is you just click the sign up button. And, and if, you have a, um, if you have a Google account, probably the easiest thing is just to click this sign up with Google. Uh, but you know, if not, if you have a regular email, just put it in here and let's see, Ryan at So it wants you to wants you to give your team a name. So after you've logged in, it wants you to give your team a name. And in this case, I'm going to call this uh, row and table. Okay. And I don't have anybody to invite right now, so let's just click create team. And it gives you uh, all of these sort of things that you can start with: agile project tracker, editorial calendar, all kinds of actually really useful templates that you can start with. And if you click on the new base um, and you go to uh, start with a template, they've got like dozens and dozens of these. I mean, some of them are pretty crazy. Like they've got cattle ranching um, and uh, lemonade stand, and, you know, all kinds of crazy templates. Just about anything that you can think of, there's probably already a template that you can start with. Um, Real quick, the pricing on this, it's free up into a certain a certain point, okay? And so you could do a whole lot of stuff without them ever charging you. They don't charge you until you get to a certain size, your databases get to a certain size, and they're really generous with that. I think it's like 500 entries and two gigs. Um, it's, it's very generous, and uh, it's, it's just a really, really great tool, okay? So if you haven't yet checked out Airtable, I encourage you hop in, get a get a username, get a password, and start playing around with this tool. It's really a much better solution for your data than using something like Microsoft Excel or Google Sheets to keep up with your stuff. Um, you can you can do so much more with Airtable. It's such an awesome project. Check it out.